Hello there, this is Lynn Allen. Thanks for joining me for another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Today, we're gonna to talk about polygons. And you're like, really, really Lynn? I think I know all there is to know about polygons. Do you? Do you use the edge option? Because let me tell you, it is the fastest way to draw a square. Oh yeah, forget that rectangle command. Polygon, edge option, that's the way to go. It's the way to go for all different types of polygons. Forget that inscribed, circumscribed, having to draw a circle nonsense. Let me show you what I mean. Okay. I wanna draw a polygon off of the end cap of this wall. Why, I don't know, because I can. <laughs> Let's go in the polygon command. Eight sides sounds good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the edge method. Now I'm gonna type in E for edge. You cannot hit an enter. It doesn't remember it from polygon command to polygon command. That part is a drag. I wish that it did. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the two endpoints for the edge of that wall, and there's my polygon. I don't know why I'd put it there, but I did, and look how easy that was. All right, I didn't even have to know the distance or anything like that. I could just snap to the two endpoints. All right, let's draw a square. I wanna draw a square, right? All right, let's go back into the polygon command. Four sides, E for edge, because it doesn't remember that that's what I did last time. And I can go ahead and you can see, as I'm moving my cursor, it's drawing a square. Oh, I need a square a specific size, do you? Maybe I need it to be 800. I can type in 800 and now my square was very easy to create. Each side is 800 units. And if you want it to go a different direction, you can do a negative 800 as well. So it's pretty amenable. And once again, it's also very easy to work off of existing objects. That's another thing I like about the edge option in the polygon command. Let's go back in the polygon command, four sides, E for edge, because it doesn't remember. I would absolutely make a menu item that was set up specifically to do edge. That's what I would suggest. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this endpoint right here. And uh, maybe I only wanted to go, I could, I could grab the other endpoint, or maybe I just wanted to go halfway through. It also will work with object snap tracking, piece of cake. Now it does matter the direction you go, like I said. If I go back in, Four sides, E for edge, and I select down here. Oh, I don't want it to go that way. So it does make a difference the order that you select the points. And there's not too much you can do about that. You just realize you goofed and you select the points in a different order. But just so you know, heads up on that, okay? I'll just pretend that's the one I wanted to draw. Polygon edge, piece of cake, fastest way to draw a square. Try it and have a nice week. Thanks for joining me.